Okay, um, now back to another uh, updated DVD horror collection. This is part 10. So, starting off with the Sleepaway Camp Survival Kit. Camp can be murder. Now, this was the, uh, the recalled version. Uh, the original release of this had the red cross on it. Um, I had that, and I could kick myself in the ass, and I got rid of it. But, um, it does still have, um, pretty much everything in here. I got this at FYE. The only two things that's missing from this is the little, uh, booklet that comes with it, and then the little disc that came with Sleepaway Camp for the Survivor. I can talk about that in a minute. Um, but if I only wanted anything, it'd be the little pop booklet that came with it. But, what, what, what can I say? I mean, I'm happy that I get, at least I got the films. So we got Sleepaway Camp here. Now this does have an auto commentary track and the trailer. This was the original DVD Anchor Bay release. And does have the insert there. And then the Sleepaway Camp. You won't be coming home. Uh, yeah, that's a classic 80's movie. And then you have Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers. This has a uh, commentary, behind the scenes, trailers. Another scene selection here. I really like this uh, cover art that they did for this. It was a really cool cover art. It had little Jason, Freddy, and uh, yeah, Leatherface and Chainsaw there. You got Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland. This has a commentary track, deleted scenes, trailer. There's the inside of that. Pretty cool cover as well. She's back to slash last year's record. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to have this in my collection. I do know that all three films are available on Blu-ray now. Um, I do have the first one on Blu-ray. But I would like to uh, upgrade two and three to that. So that one is that. And then that's now that I mentioned that I had uh, the, the original box that had Sleepaway Camp 4, a little small disc of it. Now, um, they never finished the movie but um a company called uh rambo productions uh released by retro slashers actually got together with the director jim markovic and tried to finish what somewhat of what they had of a film um and this kind of like put a lot of uh footage from the other three films like a dream footage and stuff um so basically, that's what they ended up with this. Sleepaway Camp 4, The Survivor. 20 years ago, the terror began. Now you must prepare yourself for the most shocking chapter of them all. Um, it does have a music, some video, music videos and a trailer. Uh, the only thing I can say about this is is that it's basically... Uh, Sleepaway Camp 4 was a film that was made in 92 that never got finished. Um, but due to the... I'm not real sure due to the fan base or anything, but due to what they wanted to get as a, a legitimate fourth movie, they took all footage they had left and they added a bunch of footage from the other three films to make a film, which ended up being like an hour and ten minutes. But it is what it is, um, so I only have this for that reason. I do not own Return to Sleepaway Camp, because I didn't really care for them much, but onward we have the slumber party massacre collection which is the ultimate driller killer thrillers which contains one two and three now, it does have a booklet here with a bunch of synapses about each movie um yeah i did show you that there's two and three now that has trailers for each movie it has commentaries from each movie and it has a three-part documentary and i do know that the first one is available on blu-ray and I don't think the second and third are, but if they do release this on Blu-ray and like this collection, I'd upgrade it to that. The 1976 film Squirm, The Night is Crawling with Killers. Now this is available on Blu-ray already. Um, I wouldn't mind upgrading that to that. It has a commentary track and it's the original trailer. Now, one sad thing I have to say is, uh, 2015, um, Patricia Piercy, this lady right here, was the lead actress. She passed away. Um, and, uh, yeah. But Jeff Lieberman, who directed this, went on to do Remote Control, and, uh, before this he did, or after this he did Blue Sunshine, which was a classic. 
psychedelic horror film. We also have Stage Fright. This is the original Moshe Sauvé horror film um, that they made in 2015 called Stage Fright, which really wasn't a remake. But this contains the theatrical trailer. And I know this is available on Blu-ray as well. Stay Alive, the unrated director's cut. You die in the game, you die for real. Um, it's okay. Um, it does have some moments, but it does contain some a trailer and some bonus features. Yeah, that's about all I can say with that. It has a good cast though. Stephen King's Rose Red. This is a two disc deluxe edition. Every house has a story to tell you. This one will kill you. Um, it does have uh, making of and a trailer. It wasn't a bad show, it was actually a miniseries, I think on ABC. Now this one is another Stephen King movie. Uh, Stephen King's The Shiny, just ignore the writing there, I got this at a pawn shop. Two disc special edition. This is the uh, miniseries one, it has three parts to it. It does have the auto commentary and additional scenes. Um, this, Stephen King was not too happy with the original Stanley Kubrick, so he made his own version. Which, you can like this one or you can like the other one, it's all up to you. Stephen King's Silver Bullet. I think this is available on Blu-ray. I want my catch in getting that. Part human, part wolf, total terror. The only downfall? It's in mono soundtrack. Wish it was in 5.1. Or had special features for that matter. The unrated version of The Strangers. It also includes the theatrical version. It does have deleted scenes and a little speecherette with it. It's not a pretty good movie. I heard that they're making a sequel to this. Uh see how well that goes out that does come out now this one is a, a three triple feature from the demented mind behind the puppet master you have spub species bloodstone subspecies 2 and bloodlust subspecies 3 now these are all available on blu-ray and uh i definitely will upgrade it for this because this is like bare bones thing i do have the first subspecies on blu-ray this is the uh swamp thing john west craven's swamp thing um, has the collector of a booklet and the original trailer. Now this booklet here is pretty interesting. Now the one side note I'm going to mention about this is this release was came in 2000. Now this release came in 2000 and contains a longer footage of Adrian Barbeau swimming in a lake naked and a couple little glimpses here and there of that. But this is rated PG, so in 1981, when this was released, that was pretty pretty risque for getting the PG rating with nudity in it. But they they released this in 2000, and then it, they recalled it because of that, so they re-released it in 2001 without the nudity in it. I'm not sure if that's been put back into the Blu-ray or not, but still glad to have this on DVD. Sweet 16, What Terrors Are Unleashed When a Girl Turns. This is the director's cut. Um, this also has the introduction with the uh, hostile producer Scott Spiegel and a conversation with the, the lead actress Alicia Shirley and the director um, on camera with Will Hopkins and Alicia Shirley in theatrical trail. It's not a bad movie. Um, it definitely needs the picture quality fixed up, but to get the director's cut of this, Code Red did they best they could. Um, it's a pretty good movie. Now I mentioned to you before in the pr prior uh, update collection uh, was Scared to Death. This is the sequel, somewhat sequel, Sigenor, Synthesized Genetic Organism. Now this has a crap load of special features on here. It has um, trailer, filmographies, commentary track, featurettes, an easter egg. Yeah, It's not a bad movie. It actually could be considered to be put into the uh, science fiction horror genre but it's not a bad film I, but I wish I'd come to blu-ray now since today is the 30th anniversary of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 it's only fitting that I'm on the tease with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the special edition the original 1974 movie now I know there's been several releases of this that came out with a, a steelbook like one I wouldn't mind getting that. Then they came up with the 40th anniversary one, and then they came up with a that has a 4K transfer and it's 
and then they come out with the 40th anniversary that has the black Mariah truck that was in the film. You know, um, I would like to get those, but I'm happy with what I've got right now. Um, this has a lot of commentary, deleted scenes, blooper reel, and trailers. Um, yeah, this is the uh, Pioneer release, which actually on the original cover come like what had like meat that was covering the disc. Yeah. I'm going to do a movie review on the complete Texas Chainsaw Massacre soon. And, what a what a better way, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, the gruesome edition. I know this is available on Blu-ray. Now, this has uh, auto commentary, a feature et, and deleted scenes. Now, I, I'm glad to have this into my collection, but I would definitely like to upgrade it to Blu-ray. not sure if all the special features on that are on this, but... 30th anniversary. Glad to see that get a Blu-ray release. Uh, as you saw the prior video before I did my last uh, update collection, I did the, a special in memory of Jim Seidel and Lou Perryman. Yeah, that they passed away. That I uh, just wanted to show a little respect towards the people who passed away. I do know that Dennis Hopper passed away, and I do know that the uh, owner of the chainsaw store passed away too. I just wanted to make a short little uh, one minute in memory of video anyway the third one is Leatherface the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 he puts the teeth in terror now this is the R-rated and unrated version which the only difference is is about let's see what does it say the only difference is about five minutes between the two now this has the uh, featurette uh, commentary alternate ending theatrical trailers um, a lot of people dislike this film a lot of people like this film I personally love Motherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. I like the music. I like some of the, the most of the acting is right. This actually goes more along the lines. I know that after this one they really uh, messed up the series, the original uh, franchise series. But I consider this one of the best since the first one. I do like the second one. Movie, don't get me wrong. I know it's 30 years. So I know it's a classic to certain people, and this is the ones that a lot of people don't like. But I did happen to like this one. Now the next one is a little different. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Next Generation. Now it was originally going to be retired, returned, return, recalled, it was going to originally be called the Return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But uh, they decided just to release it like this and the only thing on here is just a trailer. Um, and it's really not even worth even getting an upgrade to blu-ray as far as i'm concerned um it didn't it was made in 94 but didn't get released until 97 yeah but uh yeah i i, I can't much say about this I, it's not my favorite but it's part of the series that's all i can say next is the texas chainsaw massacre the uh, remake the marcus nismo remake um uh it was pretty good for what it was i mean it made a lot of money um so it's not like it was a, a bomb um yeah so i the only bad thing about it is is that when uh, the original uh leatherface actor gunner hansen passed away um the, the actor who played leatherface in this um had bad words to say about gunner hansen which you know i don't think that was i don't think that was right i think that was a really bad thing bad taste doing something like that but, uh, yeah, that was, that was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let me fix the light here real quick. See if I can get some of that glare off the sun out of here. Alright, next is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning, which is actually shows, uh, the beginning, like, the remake. Shows how he becomes a baby and all that stuff. This has, uh, deleted scenes and featurettes. Now I didn't tell you what was on the special features of the remake, which people who've seen it probably already know. But it has alternating uh, featurettes, uh, Ed Gein, this goal of playing field, the commentary and trailers. All right, now as far as I'm concerned, no collection should be without the Toxic Avenger, the complete Toxic Avenger. This contains all four films in the complete cartoon series. Um, I think I've shown this in a prior video, but those who have not seen that yet, here's the inside. This 
talks about the director's cut second one which is actually a director's cut it doesn't say it third one director's cut fourth one and then the making of film to feature and i believe the all these are all blu-ray now but the only thing with this blu-ray the second one is not is is the cut version of it Toxic Avenger, the complete series, which is a cartoon series that played on USA Network back in the 90s. And it comes with a little card here. Yeah, that, I, I got this for a pretty decent price. It was like 30 bucks for all four films plus the complete cartoon series. I'm very glad to have that in my collection. Every thanks, day after Thanksgiving, I watch this series. Don't ask me why, but I do. And then they got Troll 1 and Troll 2. I know this is available on Blu-ray, but I'm glad this to have this in the collection. Be afraid. Be twice as afraid. Um, they both just have trailers. Um, Troll, um, I heard making remakes, but I guess it's been shut down now. Um, John Carl Beekler directed that movie. Um, it was an Empire film. Not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's not good. But... Considering what the second one was called, Troll 2, which really has nothing to do with trolls, more has to do with ghouls, because, or goblins, uh, because the back of the city they go to is Neobog, and that's spelled goblins backward. But, uh, I, I'm going to do a review on that eventually. And then the last for this video is Teristas, the unrated. Um, it does have... Auto commentary, delete scenes, and special featurette on here. It's okay. Um, a lot of these other, these newer uh, horror films are more like into the uh, cutting up people, like the hostel and and uh, stuff like that. But it was okay. So that concludes updated DVD horror collection part ten. I'll catch you on the next one.